Hi everybody, today I'm working on some crochet balls I'm making for a wreath. Uh, this is one of those necessity is the uh, mother of invention things, except I definitely did not invent these. Um, they're pretty much a spin on my braided ornaments. I don't claim inventing those either, it's literally wrapping something around a ball. But this is what we're aiming for. These have pipe cleaners on them because I'm going to attach these into a wreath. This is two yarns that have been crocheted and then they're just applied on here and this one has a little bit of a sparkle on it which is not showing up but yeah this is a one of these baseballs from Dollar Tree and this is one of the ones we're going to be working on today this is another baseball from Dollar Tree and a different it's not a plod yarn it's like a um, roving yarn roving type yarn that has a beautiful gradation. This is, oh, I think it's called Facets. It was from Michaels. I don't know if they still make it. I haven't bought yarn, and that's a lot. I just bought yarn right here, but um, I haven't like bought Michaels yarn in forever since I used to knit. Um, so yeah, this one has like a gray and pink that goes into like a gray and orange, and an orange into a peach, and then a peach, and I mean it's just it's it's really. A pretty color combination. These are the black and white ones. This is entire hanks of yarn, um, bolts of yarn, whatever you want to call them, skeins of yarn, cakes, however you get them. Um, this, is an, this is a cake, but it doesn't matter how you get it. So yeah, this is the faucets, facets, I don't know what it was, but this is just, it came out, like the colors were just so pretty, and I was like, if this is not like a fall, I don't know what is. And you can put it in here like this, you can put it in here like that, you know, however you want to glue it into the wreath. So, to do this, you need to know how to crochet or braid, doesn't matter. So, this is some um, Hometown USA line brand. Walmart has a huge yarn clearance going on right now, they do it about once a year, and um, yeah, you can get some yarn very cheap there. And if you're just starting out, a thicker yarn like this will be easier. I'm not going to teach you how to crochet. I'm going to show you how I crochet. And then you can go watch a video on how to make a chain. Because I'm not, I'm not a crochet channel. <laughs> Nobody wants that to happen. So I'm going to take this yarn, make a loop like this, put the end between the loop, and pull it through. That's going to make a slip knot. Having a slip knot is not like super necessary. Ugh necessary for this you can just tie a double knot on the hook let me zoom in a little bit and then go out of frame constantly probably so it's just on here I'm gonna pull the cut thread to tighten it up not too tight you still want a little wiggle room this is gonna drop over here I take this it goes over my wrist around my pinky over my index finger and then I'm holding right here and all you're doing is hooking and pulling through. That is uh, all there is to it. And you, can, mm, you can keep it, if you keep it loose, it, um, it goes a little bit better. And whatever kind of yarn you're using is going to depend on your tension, like how you want to hold it. Like I usually use a, hold a thinner yarn like this to get it in here, but sometimes like with a thicker thing, you might not have to put as much tension on it, but you just kind of want to keep the same amount of tension and just go and sit down, watch a movie. You don't even have to like, I can watch a movie and do this at the same time because I can feel if I like make a mistake, but yeah, you're just going to go ahead and chain and then you end up with this thing, which if you're a knitter, you know, that looks like the knit side of fabric. And you can do I-cord with this. I would not. I try to do it if you're knitting I-cord. Way too time consuming. So let's come out again. And this is the one we're going to be using. I have a styrofoam ball you can use. You can use these. I prefer these from Dollar Tree because they're like 33 cents. Bigger styrofoam balls, old ornaments you want to revamp. Whatever you want to do, it's your party. Okay, so this is where I tied off. Oh, and let me just show you this too real quick. So say I'm done with all this, you know, I've knitted this whole, I've, not knitted, I've crocheted this whole thing, I'm gonna take the remainder of my yarn, pull it through, just like we've been doing, I think that'll go through, okay, go through and 
like you pull it through like this, like it's still on, still on your loop. And then instead of trying to go through again, you would just pull this out, snug that up, and it ties a little knot. You can tie two, whatever, it's really not necessary, you just want to get that knot in there, which is where we are right here. So I'm going to make sure that this is nice and tight, and then I'm going to just leave the tiniest amount exposed. I'm going to clear the decks a little bit here. And I usually start, like, there's a hole in the baseballs, that's where I usually start. It really doesn't matter. I mean, it's a round thing, so it's not like there's a, uh, a starting and stopping spot. I'm going to put a little bit of glue right there, and I'm going to just glue the end down first. Right in the center. But again, doesn't really matter. And all we're doing with this is exactly like we did for the yarn ornament, the braided one. I'm going to make sure that my knitted side is up, which is the, I guess this is, one side is the chain side, but the thing is called the chain, so I call this the knitted side because it looks like little knit stitches. And you just want to keep a nice spiral on there. And there are so many yarns available. You could do these in solid colors. You could do them in um, things that variegate really quickly like this. Like this is here and then this is a completely different color. You know, maybe like two feet later. I wouldn't use something like this probably because this is like a lot of this khaki color before you get to the next one. So you'd end up with a bunch of balls that we're all different colors pretty much or you know it starts one color and then it ends a different color depending on how much is on the ball when you start you know so I think this yarn kind of works best because it really shows off the colors so I'm just making sure that that braided section that looks braided the knitted area the knitted side whatever you want to call it I'm sure there's a real term for it making sure that that stays up because that to me is more interesting than the opposite side. All right, so I have gone all the way around. It doesn't take up much. Crocheting takes up more yarn than knitting. I've realized that, but it doesn't take I mean, I could probably do another two or three balls with this, maybe four. So, um, here I am. This is all that I call my mom, and we had a little chit chat. Um, started here, came all the way up, and see, isn't it gradation just so pretty? Like, this is one of the things when I started, like, trying to knit, and then I couldn't knit, so I started weaving when I was weaving, which I can do. Um, I love to see how, like, just how things work up, and I think that this gradation from this orange into this, like, really bright pink and then into this orange gray moment how did this start? i must have started i must have started here went to here and then here to here like yeah that kind of well it doesn't really match up i don't know how i did it um but yeah so i'm gonna go and continue putting this down and if you're thinking, he's just going to jam that in there, right? You are absolutely right. That is what I'm going to do. If you are using a styrofoam ball, you, um, you really can actually just jam it in there. With this one, I think... This one was, no, it was this one that was super complicated because it's also the one that looks the nicest. I put holes in both sides so the yarn started inside a hole from inside the ball wrapped around and then went back in it was glued but i'm going to try to simplify this a little bit and i would show you guys the tutorial for this one because i did record it but somebody was being a little bark and jerk the whole time look at him he's like me is he talking about me yeah i am and you're gonna get some like little spots where the glue seeps out like there's one right here i'm just gonna try 
try to cut that out some. It doesn't matter. I mean, if you're gonna stick it in a wreath, if you're gonna stick it in a tree, if you're gonna stick it, you know, make a big ball, a bowl, uh, make a bunch of them, put them in a bowl. Okay, so I think this is gonna be enough, like up to here. So I'm just gonna put that down. Let's tackle this for a second. That's all you gotta do. Just pull it, it's gonna tighten up, and then you're ready to start your next one. Oh my god, these scissors. Somebody send me a pair of scissors. Fiskar, send me a pair of scissors. Send me a whole box of scissors. Okay. This is gonna go around here. Again, closing in. And I know it's gonna end like right here. So let me cut again. show this correctly. I'm cutting off, trying to cut off. Jeez. Okay, well it kind of stuck, but I want to glue the end down before I wrap it around. And there's just a little bit left. So I'm gonna put some glue in the center. And I'm gonna tuck this like underneath. just kind of I'm pushing down and turning so it kind of continues that direction we're going and then I can get underneath here a little bit and add some more glue if need be and I can burn the crap out of my finger oh my god things I do for you guys okay so that's down really good is my lighter seriously missing again? Okay, I don't know where it's at. I'm not gonna go look for it. Is it right there? No. With if you're using a synthetic yarn, you can kind of just go over that. It'll get rid of that little fluffy bit. But I'm just going to trim it up some. And then if you're still worried about, it's got a lot of glue strings on it. But hit it with the hair dryer. But not too close because it might melt the yarn. Um, I don't know what I was saying. If you're still worried about this coming undone, you can take a little diluted white glue, um, something like this. This is sticky glue, so I'm not going to, all glue is sticky. This is like repositionable adhesive glue, so I'm not going to use that. But you could put just a couple little drops right there. It'll kind of fray check the edge. You could use fray check, and that would seem very expensive to me, but I don't know what y'all got on hand. I would not buy something I would use whenever I head around the house. So, these are some crochet balls. And this is a needle from another project. So yeah, this end is super messy compared to this end. Wait, what's the difference in those? I don't know what I was doing with this one. And with this one, you would just Start your spiral out with one, you know, you glue both of them down, start your spiral with one, go away around. I mean, it's it's just like we did with the other one, pretty self-explanatory. Um, I spray glitter spray on this and it's like, it's hard, not hard, but it's like crispy and I don't like that, but I wanted it a little bit glittery. It just kind of looks dirty, but okay. So now that you heard my life story, thank you for watching. Um, try these. I, the whole reason I did this is because I needed black and white and I could not find black and white and I am uh, no longer in the situation where I can just order something I want so I am we are we are officially a budget crafting channel over here all right I will see you guys later stay cool wear your mask um, be a good person how did I, I'm still trying to figure out how I did this I like that okay all right bye guys